Is a starfish a fish? Now, there's a question that's been causing a ripple in the sea of knowledge. You see, we often find ourselves tangled in the seaweed of common misconceptions about starfish and fish. It's easy to get swept away by the current of confusion. But don't worry, we're here to navigate these murky waters together. So hold on to your seats as we dive deep into the ocean to unravel this mystery. First, we need to understand what a starfish is. Starfish, or sea stars as they're also called, are intriguing marine creatures. They come in a wide variety of colors, shapes, and sizes, and are commonly recognized by their star-like appearance with arms radiating from a central disk. Starfish inhabit the vast expanses of oceans, from tropical coral reefs to chilly Arctic depths. One of the most fascinating features of starfish is their ability to regenerate limbs. Yes, they can grow back arms that have been lost to predators or damage, a testament to their remarkable resilience. Biologically, these creatures fall under the phylum Echinodermata, which they share with other sea-dwelling species like sea urchins and sea cucumbers. Unlike fish, they lack gills, scales, and the usual sensory organs. Instead, they breathe through tiny tubes on their skin and sense their environment through their skin and feet. Now that we have a fair idea about starfish, let's turn our attention to fish. Fish, as many of us know, are a group of aquatic animals. They are a diverse lot, teeming in every aquatic habitat from the deepest parts of the ocean to the highest mountain streams. But what makes a fish a fish? Well, fish are characterized by several distinct features. For starters, they breathe through gills, organs that allow them to extract oxygen from water. They also sport fins, those flexible appendages that help them navigate their watery worlds with ease. And let's not forget scales, those tiny protective plates that give fish their characteristic shimmer. Fish are classified under the phylum chordata, a grouping that also includes us humans. But within this family tree, they belong to their own unique subphylum, aptly named fish. From the smallest guppy to the largest whale shark, fish are a fascinating and incredibly diverse group. So, we have a clear picture of what a fish is. But, is a starfish a fish? Now it's time to answer our initial question. Are starfish really fish? Let's delve into the biology of these two creatures to find out. We'll start with their physical structures. Starfish, or sea stars as they are also known, have a hard, calcified skin, which is quite different from the slimy scales that cover most fish. They also lack the gills, fins, and tail that are characteristic of fish. Instead, starfish have hundreds of tiny tube-like feet they use for movement. Moving on to classification, fish fall under the category of vertebrates, which means they have a backbone. Starfish, on the other hand, belong to the echinoderms, a group of marine animals that are invertebrates. This is a major difference as it separates fish and starfish into entirely different kingdoms in the biological classification system. Lastly, let's consider their abilities. Fish are known for their ability to swim, using their fins and tail for propulsion. Starfish, however, can't swim. They crawl along the ocean floor, using their tube feet to move and to hold onto rocks and other surfaces. So, we see that despite some superficial similarities, starfish and fish are fundamentally different in their physical structure, biological classification, and abilities. So, despite its name, a starfish is not a fish. It's a beautiful creature with its own unique characteristics just like every other species in our vast oceans. Let's quickly summarize what we learned today. We've delved into the nature of the starfish, a creature that, despite its name, is not a fish at all. We've contrasted this with true fish, exploring their distinct characteristics. We've unraveled the mystery of the starfish's misleading name, revealing its place in the Echinodermata phylum, a world away from our fin-bearing friends. Next time you look at a starfish, remember, it's not a fish, but a fascinating creature from the phylum Echinodermata. Until next time, continue to explore and learn about our amazing world.